Hello everyone, um, Cameron today I'm going over the Beatles books but on the solo members. This will be a quick video unlike the last one which was a two-parter. This will be a, just a pretty, um, I think, short video. Um, There's just a few books on the solo members I've got. But before I get around to that I will show you one I forgot. probably forgot to show my uh, Beatles group book so I'll just show it again. If I don't I'll just show it. Uh, this is one called The Beatles. This is a tin. Uh, tin front's a bit, a bit bashed but this is a 224 four page book and four collectible badges. So, uh, show you that. This is the book. Um, here's the badges. So, you get the glasses for John, the Hofner base for Paul, the sitar for George, and the sticks for Ringo. And this is the book, which is pretty much the same as the one of the Beatles Ziggler books I showed. Um, in the, you know, it's just a bit smaller, really. So, cool to have. There's that. So, I don't know how I forgot to show it in my um, Beatles group book when I was showing the books on the, the group, but I must have. I'm trying to get shot with suits. There's that. Now we're going to get onto the books and time members. This is, one, this is one on John. John Lennon the Life by Philip Norman. Uh, this one came out in, uh, was published 2008. Um, <coughs> this Beatles one was like, uh, I don't know when this one was published, but I got that one, this one about 2015. I got this one. Uh, much of when I got this one either. But uh, this is quite a cool book. Uh, some nice fo some photos in here that I don't think I've seen. Like that. Mm. Pictures of the Quarry Man, because that was when uh, John. That was a group that John had before. Um, the Be renaming them the Beatles. Oops, this book seems to be. There's that. Nice picture of him and his Aunt Mimi. That's a nice picture of him with Elton John. So yeah, good one there. John Lennon the Life by Philip Norman. But this is one of the ones I recommend. John by Cynthia Lennon, who was John's first wife. This book was published in 2005, was it? Yeah, 2005. Uh, really good book. Really recommend it. It's got like a not a nice, pic nice, nice pictures of John and Cynthia too, because Cynthia writes about her life too as well. It's a nice picture of him with uh, Brian Epstein, with them with the manager Brian Epstein. Beatles in Hamburg. That's quite a cool one. So yes, I really recommend this one. It's a really uh, good one to read. I um, do recommend it. Really good book. Here's one called Lenin, The Definitive Biography by Ray Coleman. This is the anniversary edition with some forward by George Martin. This one came out in... Uh, it was originally published in 84, uh, but through the years it's been republished. The forwards by uh, it's in two thousand. This is a new edition from two thousand. So there's like nice pictures, uh, but unfortunately some of the pages have uh, have fallen out. Which I'll hopefully try and stick back together when I get the chance to. So, uh, so yeah, it's a. Uh, Nice one to have for the collection. Then we have oh wait, this big one. John Lennon Unseen Archives from the Daily Mail, similar to that um, Beatles Unseen Archives one that I showed in my um, uh, Beatles groups books. So um, some pictures I've not seen like that. It's a nice one. Nice 
picture of him in the cavern. The timeline, pretty much similar to the, of John's life, pretty much similar to the um, Beatles on Teen Archives, I think. Um, so yeah, pretty good one there. This one was published. Two thousand two. This one was published. This is a uh, my oldest book I have. John Lennon in his own right. This is a book of drawings and that came out in nineteen sixty four. Um, I hope to find the other one. It's spied in the works. It contains a lot of John's poems and like uh, funny. He when he spells words a bit like funny things like uh, you might as well ask, <laughs> Liddy Pool. Um, a lot of just funny, pretty humorous <laughs> ones there. So yeah, John Lennon in his own right. Not to get spying in the works. This one called the Lennon Legend. This one's similar to the Treasure of the Beatles ones I have. Um, this is one that came out in 2003. It's by uh, James Henke, as I say it. But this contains a lot of like, this contains a CD of interviews and it contains a lot of uh, hand re removable reproductions of handwritten lyrics, artwork, memorabilia. And rare memorabilia. So, uh, get things like uh, handwritten lyrics for In My Life. Um, John's, one of John's sketches from his art from his school days. Program for the um, the St Peter's Church Fate, the day that John and Paul met, which was Saturday, the sixth of July, nineteen fifty-seven. John band the choir men performed that day, so they uh, and so Paul met John after the show, and Paul pretty much worked with John, was best friend, good friends with John ever since. There's the. Quarryman card, in case you wanted to call them for an engagement thing. I'm going to show you some stuff in here. Cavern membership card from 64. It's cool to have. A ticket to the Royal premiere of A Hard Day's Night uh, at, the London, at the London Pavilion in Piccadilly Circus. Friday, uh, Monday, 6th of July 1964. So that's pretty cool. Ticket for one of the Ed Sullivan shows, um, Saturday the 14th of August 1964, in the, 1965, sorry, in the evening. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, nice things in here, quite uh, cool to, um, to have. Really. So, uh, let him legend. The CD of the interviews is quite interesting. And another copy of the uh, Lenin legend book, but this is missing some inserts. Then we have two more after this one. George Harrison living in the material world. This I think was 2011 or 2012 probably. But uh, I think it's about George's uh, life and some quotes from. George, as well as some of his uh, friends, it's by Martin Scorsese and Olivia Harrison. Picture of George at the Cavern. Picture of John and George with guitars. There's one of Paul, George, and Ringo. There's a nice one of him and Roy Orbison, as well as writing from his, like, I think, his diary and his. Um, one letters he wrote. The Wilburys, Travel Wilburys Day with Tom Petty, Roy Orbison, Bob Dylan and Jeff Lynne. That's cool. Yeah, I like the cover too. Fortunately this one's a bit battered but uh, I do recommend you get that one. And I have the last book, a couple of copies of this book, Ringo Starr's Postcards from the Boys. 
this one was released in 2004. Yeah, 2004. This one was released. Um, it's basically postcards of that uh, that uh, John, George, and Paul sent to Ringo through the years. Um, basically, you know. Basically, you know, ones that Ringo were sent from the Beatles. And, uh, so yeah, it's uh, really nice to have. I quite like this one. I got this one at a tight shop in Liverpool, this one. And I quite like the fact that um, when you do a 3D thing with it, you get a picture of uh, uh, Paul, George, John, and a picture of Ringo on the other side. And another one of that, one that I got from my grandparent, and my grandparents got me. So, uh, nice to have. So, that's all my Beatles books finally out of the way with. Um, uh, this will probably, you know, um, this has been a pretty interesting, interesting video, I must say, to make. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, so, uh, see you again soon.